Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Playtech TV. My name is Kevin and today we're checking out the MSI GS30 Shadow. And this thing is really crazy. As you can see it has its dock underneath which we'll be talking about a bit later. And it's just quite a unique approach from MSI. But first let's talk about the laptop itself. And as you can see it's very slim and uh, very light. It's coming in at 1.3 kilograms, which is yeah, nothing. And uh, height-wise, it's only 19.8 millimeters, so very slim, very light. I really like it. It is just a nice look overall. It's quite um, premium in its feel and build quality. Um, it's made from magnesium alloy, so the chassis is anyway. So it feels really good um, to use, and overall, I think it's really nice in terms of its design. It has this nice lighting around the front as well, which I really like. Like it just, you know, jazzes it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, it looks really good. Now, as far as I/O goes, you're seeing nothing at the front. Then around the left-hand side, you'll see that it has a headphone jack, microphone jack, USB 3.0 port, and a secure lock. On the back, there's nothing at all except for a vent and where it docks in. And on the right-hand side, it has the AC input for the uh, power supply. Ethernet port, HDMI, USB 3.0, and a multi-card reader. Now, the specs are pretty good coming out of this guy. So the CPU is an i7-4870HQ, so that's a quad-core CPU with hyper-threading, coming in with a 2.5 GHz base clock, but boosts all the way up to 3.7 GHz, so pretty impressive. The chipset is an Intel Shark Bay HM87. The screen is a 13.3 inch full HD display, so that's 1080p anti-glare display. So with the laptop itself, it uses onboard graphics, so that's Intel Irish Pro graphics, 5200. The onboard memory is a 16 gigabyte kit, so that's two times eight gigabytes. It has an internal microphone, and speaker-wise, it's coming with two two-watt speakers, which are downwards-facing. We'll get to that very soon. Storage, it has uh, two 128 gigabytes, uh, gigabyte SSD, so that means 256 gigabyte total of uh, storage. And dimensions-wise, it's coming in at 320 by 227 by 19.8 millimeters big and warranty it just comes with MSI standard two-year pickup and return warranty. So the screen. So being 13.3 inches and 1080p means it has a really nice pixel density. I really liked that about it. It also does a decent job overall. I was actually quite impressed by it. It's um, pretty good as far as screens go. Viewing angles are, they can be a little bit funny sometimes. You get a little bit of color shifting, but for the most part, it's pretty good. And when you're just looking at it straight on, the color reproduction is really impressive. I was actually quietly impressed by the screen. It's really good. Now, sound, I was less impressed with. Honestly, it just uh, it wasn't up to standard. So, of course, uh, being downwards facing, that's not very good. So if you're using it on a, a bed, like laying it on a bed or a couch, or even on your lap, it comes out with a very muffled sound to it, which isn't very good. Even if you put it on a table or a desk uh, where it's slightly elevated, it's just still not that good. It comes out a little bit muffled. The volume doesn't go anywhere near high enough. That was one of the biggest problems I had. You're always maxing it out, you know, watching YouTube videos or whatever. It's always hovering like 90, 100% audio volume. And uh, the players are always maxed out. So I just wasn't a fan. Um, so yeah, sound-wise, it wasn't that good. As far as the sound quality itself, uh, it was okay, but it was still a little bit tinny at times. Um, yeah, it wasn't that good as far as sound goes. The keyboard, however, was really nice to use. Uh, it, it was well spaced. The layout is pretty good for the most part. It's slightly compressed, but otherwise it's pretty good. Uh, the function, the main function keys, you know, like volume and brightness, are up on the actual function keys at the top. I usually like them down on the arrow keys, but because this keyboard is quite compressed, it didn't really bother me too much there. The key travel itself was really good, so it was really nice to type on, really predictable, really nice in that sense. I don't have any complaints, and uh, the backlighting was really good too, and that's always a nice bonus. 
and that's also the case with the touchpad was really nice to use the sensitivity was just perfect and uh, to slide on it was really good like your finger slides really nicely on it sounds like a weird thing that you may not you know even think about but some of the laptops I've used your finger just doesn't slide nicely on it whatsoever and it just makes the whole you know trying to use the mouse pointer very difficult um, but this was really good it's one of the best ones I've actually used in a while gestures worked very easily you know zooming in scrolling all that stuff was very very easy so I liked that as well the only funny thing was clicking sometimes was a little bit off but that was about it aside from that the touchpad was really really solid overall webcam wise it's just standard uh, 30 frames a second 720p webcam is going to do you for your Skype calls all that good stuff very well now let's talk about the dock itself and before we talk about what it actually does let's just have an overview of the outside of it so it looks really basic I mean there's nothing on the back and on the front there's not much there's actually two speakers under this front grill but uh, they're pretty bad so I wouldn't recommend using them uh, at all even compared to the uh, audio from the laptop itself it's just no they're not very good but when you go over to the left hand side you'll see that it would have its uh, output for the graphics card if you had one in it and its 450 watt power supply which is really nice on the other side you have a headphone jack microphone jack ethernet port and four usb point, uh, 3.0 ports and a 90 millimeter fan then up top you have the PCIe 3.0 16x slot which the laptop will dock into and of course the docking me mechanism off to the right hand side here which is really nice it's very smooth and easy to use. So what does this box actually do? Well it allows you to run a desktop GPU so you can uh, run any MSI GPU that you like. Personally for my testing with it I ran a GTX 960 and a GTX 980 the gaming 4G ones from MSI and it allows you to run a three and a half inch drive if that's what you want to do just for some extra storage all the cables are included inside and it's all very straightforward and easy to install uh, especially if you just follow the manual it's very easy and it allows the laptop to harness the power of a desktop GPU so you connect it through the mechanism and then when you go to play your games it'll still be using the laptop's CPU that i7 4870HQ and all the system memory but uh, it'll be using the desktop GPU so you get all that power from a GTX 960 or 980 that means some really good performance and that's what we're going to jump into right now how does this actually perform so let's start with the CPU now an Intel Extreme Tuning Utility the benchmark within that software it scored 903 marks which is really solid that's really good so I was quite impressed with that now into Unigen Valley on the Extreme HD preset. So I'm going to do both the uh, GDX 960 and the 980 in the box. So with the 960 installed, it scored 34.5 frames per second average. And with the 980 installed, it scored 66.1 frames per second average. So both really solid scores there. Now Unigen Heaven 4.0, this is DirectX 11, everything maxed out, 1080p. With the 960 inside, it scored 32.1 frames per second average. With the 980 installed, it scored 34, uh, 64, I should say, 0.9 frames per second average. So again, really solid scores. But let's now move into some games. So Tomb Raider, it's everything maxed out, ultimate preset. With the 960 in, it scored 58.5 frames per second average. With the 980 in, it scored 91.7 frames per second average. And lastly, Shadow Mordor, high requirement game. With the 960 in, it scored 48.1 frames per second average. With the 980 in, it scored 91.5 frames per second average. And I've uh, tested these graphics cards, the MSI Gaming 4G 960 and the 980, uh, in my personal rig at home, which runs a 4770K and uh, there's no difference these numbers are identical unless you're worried that it was uh, losing something being going through the laptop into the docking bay uh, you're not losing anything there so don't worry about that, about that and the laptop is also getting its power from it so you don't need to run the uh, AC power into it from its power supply either so really good performance there really outstanding it, it's just mind-blowing <laughs> that it's so easy that you just plug the dock the laptop in and then you just get this insane desktop level performance moving on now to heat and noise and heat wise uh, it did pretty good for the most part so during the intel extreme tune utility benchmark the cpu went up to 87 degrees celsius so that's pretty high but there was no thermal throttling so that's fine 
And then as far as the GPUs went, uh, during the Unigen Valley testing, the 960 went up to 61 degrees Celsius and the 980 went up to 71 degrees Celsius. And during the Unigen Heaven benchmark, the 960 went up to 60 degrees Celsius and the 980 went to 70 degrees Celsius. So they're obviously getting enough airflow and cooling efficiently. So heat-wise, it was pretty good. However, when it came to noise, uh, it wasn't that good. So out of the box, um, it's pretty noisy. Just using the laptop for casual use, it's, you know, the, you really hear the CPU fan working on it. And when you start gaming with it docked, it's just so bad. The, the CPU noise is really, really high. It's kind of uh, on the same level as, say, a reference R9-290. So yeah, noise-wise, not very good. It definitely gets quite high, and I, I didn't really like that. However, if you're using a good pair of headphones, which I would recommend, or using your own speakers, uh, it should easily drown out this, you know, the gameplay noise or music and all that will easily drown it out. And uh, when you're not doing stuff when it's on the dock, you know, you're doing more casual stuff, then it is a bit more quiet for the most part. But yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of it, and it was a bit too noisy for my taste. In a similar affair, the battery life for the laptop was not that good. Uh, you're looking around two, maybe two and a half hours, depending on the brightness uh, settings and what uh, power settings you have it set on for just normal you know, web browsing, watching YouTube videos, all that fun stuff. Uh, so not really that good. Slim and light laptops have come a long way these days, and I would expect a lot more than, say, two to two and a half hours. So I was quite disappointed with that. Now, it comes with a bunch of MSI pre-installed software. Um, there's a few that I really like, standout ones. MSI Dragon Gaming Center is uh, pretty good. It's a really useful software to use. Sound Blaster Cinema 2 is quite good for setting up audio exactly how you want it. And the System Control Manager is also quite good for just quick system controls. And that brings us now to the conclusion. What do I think of this? So the laptop itself is decent. It has a pretty nice design, and you know it's made out of pretty good materials. It feels well built, and I quite like it. The screen is quite little, but it's really good. It has quite a good pixel density, and uh, you know I thought it was really nice for the most part. But the audio definitely could be better, and it's really lacking. The keyboard and touchpad were both really solid. I don't have any major complaints with them at all. And as far as heat and noise goes, well, heat wasn't too bad, but yeah, as I said, the noise is just a bit too much. But I do like this overall. I think it's pretty cool. It's an interesting approach, and I do quite like it. I mean, the idea of having a laptop being carried around all day, go to class, go to work or whatever, and use, and then come home, and then put it in this dock, and then play whatever game you want at the same level of um, you know, performance as a desktop rig is quite cool. And I really quite like it. It'd be uh, cool to see this get developed more and have it workshopped a bit and just to work out some of the things that I had a problem with. And then I think it would be really appealing to a lot of people. But this one is still really solid. Now, I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Playtech TV if you haven't already. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.